Welcome back guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can make a part that will not be affected by gravity. Now, this is really good for a space game or something like that, so I'm in, in this video I'm just going to take a part. And we're going to simulate that, for example, let's say this was an orbit. Now, we'd want it, when it gets hit, we want it to have that same speed forever, like this. And it just never stops until it hits something else and it might bounce off. So that's really cool. So, how do you do that? Well... We're going to create a script and we're going to rename this one to zero gravity script, all right? I'm going to re we're going to make start by making a variable local um, part is equal to script dot parent or let's do local um, zero g part is equal to that so Oh, yeah, so G part. All right, then we're gonna do local dv is equal to instance dot new body velocity. And then we're gonna do bv dot bv dot um, max force is equal to vector three dot new zero math dot huge math dot huge is basically like the biggest number. I think I can remember. It's a it's the biggest number lower. I'm not sure, but I think it is. So max force that, and then we're gonna do bv dot velocity is equal to vector three dot new zero 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 like that. And we're gonna do bv dot um, name is equal to zero g um, zero g effect and I'm gonna do bv dot parent is equal to zero g part like that. So there we go. Let's check it out. We're gonna place a spawn right here. Actually, let's do it like that. Let's find a space background. Space. Now the character won't be affected by this in any way unless you kind of rescript your way out of that. Do the same thing. But um, I'm gonna show you guys here how it works. I'm gonna put that spawn here. Now, it's going to be difficult to get the part to go up and down, but the thing is that it um, has the same it has the same speed um, when it gets hit or something like that. It will have th that speed. So let's check it out. You can see there it's kind of doing that. If we really hit it, you can see there it keeps going, and it's going to have that same speed forever until something else hits it. So let's say we were here. You can see now it goes that way. So this is really cool. You can basically hit it from any axis. It will then go the other way. You can see now it has really fast speed. So I don't think we'll be able to catch up with that. So you can do this. And basically the bigger it is, the harder it's going to be to kind of move it. Like more mass and stuff. Uh, I found a really way, cool way to do this because in my space game, it, it will be kind of useful. So uh, I added this to a Hubble telescope. And basically when it hits, so you can see here. It's still kind of hard to hit, and you can actually stand on it um, if it's stable. You can see there. So the rotation is applied, all that. Let's see here. You can actually stand on it if you're good enough to do that. Now the thing is that the weight is applied. But there we go. Alright, so that's kind of cool. So what else can you do with this? Well, I was thinking, hypothetically, I haven't done much with this yet, but I was thinking that you could, just hypothetically, you would be able to create um, parts like these. Like, this is a free model bench. If we take that script and we put it into a random part, let's put it into that part here right, since it's the central part, put that in there, and let's go up here, put it up, and that should, hypothetically, make it float and that's really cool and, and all but just imagine having like a floating picnic bench that's hilarious um if i can move it okay i can't move it somehow uh, i don't know if it's anchored or not it might not be i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's anchored or not let's check this out Uh, unless the mass is too high. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god. Come on. Alright, so it's weightless now, basically. Hey, come back. Come back. 
Now this is a really cool script. It you can do all kind of sorts of things with this. It's really cool. Um, I don't know if the seats are enabled or not. Let me check enable disabled. Alright, they are not disabled. Alright, so let's try to put it down maybe. And there's a lot of things you can do with this script. It's a very simple script as far as script goes. But it's really good for space games and like if you're doing the International Space Station, this could be really cool to just simulate all of that. You can see there, it's not gonna, it's not floating because there's no friction really. I don't know why the seats are not working. Let's just ignore that, alright? Um, so if we just do this, you can basically create kind of weightless stuff. I'm gonna insert a seat now. I'm just gonna add it on some place, maybe. And I'm gonna weld it. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's try again. Um, it's still really cool though, because you can use this for all kind of stuff. Um, I'm just gonna in, in here, you can take the script now if you want, you just uh, skip the video because there's not really any more you're gonna need it for this. Um, I'm just gonna be testing around with different models and stuff, see how they work. So you can see here, it's a weightless bench. Oh, it's fast, it's a fast bench, you know. Yeah, there we go, see? So that's the cool thing. It's basically weightless and it will keep doing this until it hits something that will prevent it, basically. So let's try here to... So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna quickly just, uh, I'm gonna make, there we go, alright. So now we're kinda on our way, we're actually going really fast now, and you can see how we're just going, um, we're just floating away from this. Now, I really recommend if you're doing a spaceship, use this, because it's really cool, and yeah, but you can do it with all kind of stuff, like, let's try with, um, uh, Destructible bird thingy. I'm gonna take that zero G script and I'm gonna put it inside of this as well. And I'm gonna take a is there destructible anything else? Um, no, I don't know. I don't know really now. Whatever, school bus. Um, let's put something inside of the school bus. Yeah, I know this is all free models, but I'm just testing out the script to see if it would even work with this. Now, I'm not sure that school bus would work since I just unanchored it. And yeah, there we go, virus, nice virus, nice virus attempt. You can clearly see this is obviously a bottom model. Yeah, it's gonna keep asking me to buy something for 50 Robux. Um, yeah, I probably need to disable that script quickly because that's annoying. You can see there, this is also weightless, let's check if this thing is weightless. Um, obviously now, it's gonna let me out because that thing is just annoying. Yeah, go away with that, I'm not gonna buy your dumb faceless shirt. Alright, anyways, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, this script is really useful for all kind of source uh, sorts of things. So if you can, if you want this in game, just, uh, just this is the script again, just for you to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Um, it would help me out a lot, a lot. So yeah, just do me that favor. Um, I'm not forcing you to just. Um, we're really close to 350 subscribers. That would mean a lot to me. But anyways, doesn't matter. Um. See you in the next video. Bye.